Everyone prepared for launch? Ready. 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 I'm always ready. Good. Commencing countdown. Ten. Nine. But on it. Let's leave! <laughs> Sorry. Well, I suppose we don't need to count down to zero every time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zam? Zim? Should the sea be red? Oh, that's really weird. Well, not really. You see, the sea there is reflecting Okido's new red sky. Ah, uh ha! -huh. As I thought. According to my measuring equipment, the sky is red because Okido's atmosphere is too thick. Ah, I knew it! What, uh, what is atmosphere, Zam? Yes. And, and why does the sky go red if the atmosphere is too thick? Well, those are very good questions. Zoom. <laughs> Lovely. This is Okido. We call this thin ring Okido's atmosphere. The atmosphere is a layer of gas that surrounds Okido planet. It allows plants and animals, monsters and people to breathe and grow. Light from the sun is made of lots of different colours. When the light reaches the atmosphere, it gets broken up and the blue part bounces around the atmosphere. That's why it's blue when we look up at the sky during the day. In the evening, when the sun is setting lower in the sky, its light has to pass through a lot more atmosphere. So now, the red light comes through. And that's why sunset is red. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs>